Sam Jones and Louis Harris are two of the most promising paddle talents in the world, both members of Team GB. These exceptional athletes have been making waves in the international circuits, showcasing their incredible talents against some of the best players in the world, such as Ali Galan and Alex Ruiz. Despite their young age, they've already proven themselves to be elite players in the sport of paddle. I arranged an interview with both players because I want to find out their secrets, their tactics, and what advice they would give to beginners, intermediates and advanced players. I also asked them both what the best piece of advice they've ever received to improve their game and their answers were very interesting. I had to give some tips for a, for a beginner or a, a new player learning to play paddle. It would be definitely to... What is like your go-to paddle strategy? Um, imagine you're sort of playing two players, you, you don't know them, you know they're good. Do you kind of go in with a game plan or are you just sort of sort of suss them out a bit in the warm-up? Do you have a strategy you go for? So we're going off, we don't know the players at all. Yeah. Well, you'll first of all try and get a bit of feedback in the warm-up. You will be able to get a few tells in terms of what shots they're more comfortable with, less comfortable with, you know, maybe bad habits that they have in terms of technique, things like that. If they have yeah. the racket a certain way, that might stop them playing certain shots. So you always want to look out for small things in the warm-up, don't overthink it. And then obviously you'll have to chat with your partner and kind of get their feedback to see, you know, you might say, well, my guy bodies really well. And then let's say I'm playing with Sam and he says, well, my guy can't defend. Okay, so obviously me and Louis, we have our biggest strength is his smash. So we, we build our game around trying to get his smash involved. So my backhand volley in particular is to the down the line corner and my forehand volley is middle. If they play a lob, we try to avoid my bandeka because we want him to hit his smash. So we don't play the typical lob, lob then down and lob we, we've kind of tried to be aggressive from the back and in, in that warm-up are you kind of holding back at all or are you thinking no i just want to go for it to warm up my shot so you kind of like trying to hide like your smash or like your aggressive shot so you're just going for it not necessarily i mean i, I would say you, you're never going for it fully because what happens is you actually end up having a worse warm-up you know let's say you're playing against yeah. someone and, and you hit everybody perfect and they can't get it back if you hit one volley ball goes to the net you walk they hit it again your warm is actually way worse. So you're trying to get yeah. along, the, you know, the longer the rally, the better. When you played Galan and Ruiz, you played them twice. What is that experience like? It was a great experience. It was a great experience. The second time around was a lot more difficult, you know, being like midday Dubai. Yeah. Basically. All paddle balls. So, you know, even if you play against two players your own level, you're going to struggle to have feeling and, you know, it's going to be very fast and, and, and whatnot. So to play against two players like that, it was very tough to keep up with the pace. The one thing we walk off the court always saying is that you play a good shot and against someone your level or a little bit better than you, you go up in the point. Against them, it's like they can do anything almost. It felt like they yeah. could do anything. And that yeah. pair was just relentless. Every volley was rolling. Every smash was going too high for us. At the back, they're playing so fast and so intimidated by them because you're thinking yeah. anything I do. But that same volley that they hit, you can pick it up. But because it comes from Galan, it's like automatically you're thinking, oh, this is going to roll, it's going to be impossible. And this is exactly what it's like when like me and Kai play you and Nick. You're literally describing exactly, exactly what it's like. The same shot that you hit or Kai hits against you, you pick it up laughing. But it comes yeah. from someone that you respect or that you're yeah. you see. Yeah, and we're scared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, and it happens to everyone. Do you ever experience uh, nerves? And if you do, how, how do you deal with that? Because I know you sort of briefly saw me and Jake play in Harrogate. We were kind of, I think we were a bit nervous, a bit tentative. It made the game so much worse for us because we end up like pushing every Bandeka and not really going for the shots. Do you ever experience that yourself? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's something you learn to manage better and better over time. Something that you learn to control, I would say, over time. If you're ever like feeling a game's quite tight and tentative would you advise just to almost just go for it a little bit more even if you get a few misses and almost get the misses out and just just play yeah, yeah to a certain to a certain degree yeah i mean again play with the score you know if it's a golden point for all okay maybe <laughs> don't just go for it uh, <laughs> yeah I, I think the, the best time to do it is you know kind of beginning of the match you know the yeah. better you start the easier it'll be to you know to maintain that level have you got any specific exercises that you would recommend in the gym that really benefit paddle you know a lot of focus is that kind of on explosive movements um so moving a load pretty quickly you know so things like box jumps or jumping over hurdles and then there's a lot of a lot of core work as well there's a lot of rotation on the paddle course similar to tennis. right so that means a lot of core work so anything where you're kind of twisting or turning or holding a position to strengthen that area it will help you a lot a common one that always comes up is just how to deal when you play 
good tennis players, how would you deal with them? But the biggest thing for me is you've got to try to make them play your game. So a lot of times yeah. you end up playing their style and trying to go in forward and volley volley or like trying to smash out, smash them. And that's one thing you've got to try to avoid. You've got to almost slow the game down as much as you can. Play a lot of lobs and a lot of slow balls to the feet. Try to almost get them to use the wall. Make them use the fence or make them run to the middle. And that's one thing I would always say when you're playing against tennis players, serve to the wall and then the first volley to the middle. A, a big issue with a lot of players is, especially when you know you're going to play two tennis players, a, a, a lot of the times your reaction is, oh, I've got to play two tennis players. They don't even play yeah. paddle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you kind of got to step back and think, well, you're on a paddle court, so they are playing paddle. You know, they, yeah. you know, you can't, yeah. they are playing paddle. It's just the style of it is, is very different. At the end of the day, you know, a tennis player is going to want pace. You know, they're going to want the ball to come to them fast and they're going to yeah. want to hit you very fast. Um, you know, they're going to want to close the net. They're not going to want to spend much time at the back. So for yeah. you, you know, when you're at the next, you know, you want to be moving them as much as possible, but getting that ball to hit the wall as much as possible. What is the best tip or advice you've ever been given? You know, if I could, if I could give a tip, it's more what shot you play and where shot you play it rather than how good that shot is. If that okay. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'd focus on you know, learning to know where you're playing and why you're playing there, rather than looking always to hit the best shot possible. I imagine you're almost just speaking to, to beginner players, early intermediate players that are desperate to improve. Just what advice would you give them? I have to give some tips for a, for a beginner or a, a new player learning to play paddle. It would be, don't try to get any bad habits. And almost learn to play with the walls, play the right shots at the right time. Because you see a lot of players now is that they have all the shots they need, but they're trying to play shots that don't really exist. When the ball bounces behind the line, use the wall. When the ball is nice and easy, play a lob. Almost like mastering the basics first and then and yeah, then going and exactly. going from there. You've got to, you know, get the base level. Sometimes you watch the the professionals play and you see shots that they do, and because they make it look so easy, the next time you go to play, you try to to do the same shot and it's not particularly right because they've obviously been training many, many years. Lessons, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you definitely want to find yourself a, a good coach, someone, you know, you can kind of get feedback from and, and learn, especially if you're a beginner, because, mm -hmm. you know, the, the earlier you can get exposed to a good coach to teach you correct technique, the better. You know, you don't want to start picking up any bad habits. And then I would just say to play as much as you can in terms of matches. You know, the more time you're on court, the better, especially in the beginning when you're first playing. Um, and try and play against as many different people as you can. Go to other clubs, play mm -hmm. tournaments. You know, the more different styles you play against, the faster you'll improve, and then you know you'll always be ready to play against any any type of player. Oh, Jake, uh, Jake Bewley said, when will Jake um, and Ewan take their spots in the GB team? Okay, well I feel like you, I feel like you've got to answer that. I feel like that's that's <laughs> it's gonna be a long, long time. <laughs> Make sure to follow Sam and Louis on Instagram and drop them some support in the comment section below because they've been absolute legends to take time out of their busy schedule to do this video. Also, if you want to know what shots lead to the most winners in paddle and what shots lead to the most mistakes, then you can check out this video right here.